Presenting to you is Manager Shore at Pro Water Sports Company. This is presented by Team A Stars Justin DeVito, Delaney Lewis, Isabel Smith, Aladino Alcane, Adam Vera, and Lucina Vecro. Enjoy. Warning Some viewers may find the following TV show disturbing to management. Viewer discretion is advised if you love management. The following TV show has been approved to target appropriate audiences. It is also great for individuals who are taking a Management 305 course, Management 305 professors, and Management 305 teacher assistants. This is rated as S for students and contains mild bad management and managerial concepts are used. Some activities should be advised to not do. This TV show follows the role of management and how employees deal with problem solving and other managerial concepts due to issues that arise at Pro Water Sports. Pro Water Sports is a well-known water sports equipment rental service in St. Petersburg, Florida. Pro Water Sports delivers exceptional service that any customer desires and respects. A large contributor to this company running smoothly is the general manager, Jimmy. Jimmy then has to leave for a little and the company takes a turn for the worse due to complications from a few employees. Jimmy, the general manager, then finds himself in a position to make a final decision on how to fix what has happened. Stay tuned to find out more. First in line at Pro Water Sports is Jimmy, the general manager. He is not only a devoted man to his wife and kids, but the company. He is a natural born leader and is very understanding. He has worked for this company since he was 16 years old and has gained a great deal of knowledge in management. In addition, he possesses a proactive management style. He is usually the person in control and handles situations very well because he is prepared to figure out what the situation is and resolving it as soon as possible. Unfortunately, he finds himself taking a leave off work due to his mother becoming ill and makes Stally the assistant manager in charge during this time. When he comes back, he notices that things have gone wrong under the management of Sally. Jimmy must then make an ethical decision on whether it is right to fire certain individuals or to keep them because they are valuable employees to the company. He makes this decision by using a utilitarian approach. Next in line at Pro Water Sports, we have Sally, the assistant manager. She's a recent USF St. Pete graduate and is very ambitious to start her career. She grew up near the beach and has never wanted to leave, so that is why when Jimmy offers her a job at Pro Water Sports, she takes it without a second thought. Although she has never held a position as manager before and lacks essential management skills such as organization, she becomes quite overwhelmed when Jimmy leaves her in charge of the store for a few days. She also tends to slack when nobody is looking, but she does work hard at times. Sally can be sporadic and unorganized, which is one of the factors when the money goes missing from the store. Her friendly and relaxed demeanor cause her employees to think less of her, and they take advantage of her leadership position. Her employees tend to take advantage of her because she becomes too friendly and relaxed with them instead of being strictly their leader. Next at Pro Water Sports, we have Mike, the situation. He's in charge of the jet skis and is typically unorganized and blinded by money. Mike is a great example when testing managers on the concept of controlling as one of the functions within management. The situation that arises due to his lack of strong worth ethic and morals has enabled Mike to challenge pro water sports within an adverse work environment. Now when the time comes and Mike confesses or management finds out by a whistleblower, upper management will have to decide how they will handle the situation within their power. Will Mike be given a second chance or will he be kicked to the curb? Next, we have Polly, the hard worker. He's in charge of the paddle boards at Pro Water Sports. He is everyone's favorite employee, and not only is he great with all customers that come through the door, but his managers can also trust him. Polly is the kind of worker that does more than what is required from him. He goes above and beyond. 
When Mike would call out of work, Polly would be the one to pick the shift up, so the company isn't left with no employee. Polly loves being out in the sun, and it's his favorite thing. You can count on him to make anyone laugh when they are having a rough day. Next at Pro Water Sports, we have Jenny, the thinker. She works at the snack stand with Nicole at Pro Water Sports and is very reliable to the company. She is described as a reserved person and does not open up to too many people in her life, besides Nicole. She is able to look at situations in many ways and she knows the difference between right and wrong. In fact, for the most part, Jenny is very trustworthy. She is also very honest, which makes her a great employee and coworker. As a college student, Jenny enjoys working at Pro Water Sports to help her get some work experience. She is a hard worker and wants to show other people in her life that she can handle any situation in different ways with a good attitude and work ethic. Last but not least, we have Nicole, who is known as the whistleblower. She's in charge of the snack stand and works right by Jenny. She takes pride in her work and is a positive and dedicated worker. Motivation is under the leading function of management. Motivation is a result of the interaction between an individual and a situation. Motivation refers to the process by which a person's efforts are energized, directed, and sustained towards attaining a goal. Motivation varies from scenario to scenario, but in this situation, Nicole meets the three main elements of motivation. Energy, direction, and persistence. Nicole's energy is defined by her intensity of making sure people follow the rules if she's around. Her direction is defined by the measurements of her efforts to want to better the shop and by whistleblowing the situation. Lastly, if Nicole can maintain persistence within the face of adversity, she will have perceived a strong notion of motivation here. Now since you guys know a little bit more about the characters at Pro Water Sports, let's get into the story overview of Pro Water Sports at Manager Shore. Episode 1 consists of directing and planning. Episode 2 is organization and management skills. Episode 3 is communication and dealing with conflict. Episode 4 is motivation. Episode 5 is integrity and motivation. Episode 6 is ethical behavior and decision making. And episode 7 is group reflection. Now let's dive a little deeper and look at Pro Water Sports on Manager Shore's episodes. Episode 1 focuses on directing and planning. Manager Shore starts off with Jimmy and the general manager arriving at Pro Water Sports. He comes into work with a dull mood instead of his typical energetic mood. Jimmy portrays this way due to him taking a leave off work to help his mother who is ill. Jimmy then explains to his employees what has happened and takes the next step of action. The next step is to employ Sally to look over the store and employees. By assigning her to look over the store is a big deal to him. He is a bit scared to appoint Sally to his position because she has a laid back style of management. However, this is Jimmy's only option. He then shares some advice to Sally that it is best if she plans out how she is going to direct the employees. Jimmy also advised that it is best for her to check on the employees throughout the day. Jimmy then leaves it all up to Sally with no supervision on his end. Can she step up to the plate and be the manager that she needs to be? Following episode 1, we have episode 2, which focuses on organization and management skills. Today is Sally's first day as assistant manager at Pro Water Sports. She is carefree and relaxed because she thinks that she has nothing to worry about. She is in for a major reality check as to what being a manager can be like. One of Sally's tasks as assistant manager is to close out the register at the end of the day. However, today she notices that money is missing. And just to make sure that she did not misplace it somewhere else, she checks the register again, the safe, and even looks at previous deposits to make sure that there is no extra money there. Sally does not know how money could be missing because there were no refunds made that day. At this point, she begins to get anxious as to what is going on. 
She realizes that her lack of organization and management skills caused this and all the things that she could have done to prevent this. Next, we have episode three, which focuses on communication and dealing with conflict. In this episode, Sally is now overthinking. She is thinking even the worst possible scenarios. Sally is going through ethical dilemmas. Will she report that there was money missing from the register? Or will she figure this out and see who did it on her own? How will she explain all this when she doesn't know where the money is at? Sally will have to think of a way to figure out where the money went or where it could be at. Sally realizes that she slacks with management skills and that this could possibly ruin her job here, meaning she could be terminated. Sally doesn't want the news to go around yet either. She has to find a way to maybe gather everyone around and ask them, or ask each one individually if they ever saw something suspicious. One thing is for sure, Sally will have to think of something quick because the owner of the store will soon be back with a lot of questions. Next at Pro Water Sports, we have episode four, which focuses on motivation. In this episode, Nicole went about her normal work routine. She arrives about 10 minutes early with a tray full of iced coffees to hand out. Nicole makes her way towards the office and remembered that Jimmy was out of town for personal matters. Nicole smiled radiantly while flaring the iced coffees for Sally to notice and indulge in. Nicole felt as if something was off due to Sally's vibe when avoiding immediate eye contact with Nicole. Sally gives Nicole a guarded impression. Nicole is smart and didn't want to engage in the situation before gathering more information on her own, so she just politely faded from the office and on toward the snack stand. The snack stand is right around the corner from the employee's break room, so Nicole is the first in line when it comes to hearing gossip. While Nicole was organizing the candy to make sure the inventory was ready, she couldn't help but overhear Mike explaining to another person on the phone about how he was planning on charging extra for rentals so that he may reimburse the money he pocketed from the ski rental transactions. Mike went on almost bragging about how smart the thievish scheme was, considering he assumed Jimmy wouldn't find out, nor would Mike have to fork up any of his personal money. Nicole faces a tough life lesson when deciding on how to handle the sticky situation concerning Mike and the stolen money. Next, in episode 5, it focuses on integrity and negotiation. In this episode, the rest of the employees are gathering together in the break room to find out what is really going on with the money stolen from the register. After discussing with another, Mike, who works in the jet ski area, has decided to tell the group that he stole the money. After realizing that the group was trying to find out who stole the money, Mike was feeling nervous about it and it ended up confessing. Mike confessed that he was responsible for his actions that he caused in this situation. However, Sally is unaware that Mike told the group that he stole the money from the register. The employees were shocked that Mike stole the money. Although Mike made the right decision to tell the truth to the employees, he explained that his friend Vinny and him had an expensive night and he needed to pay him back. However, Vinny plays it off and acts as if he doesn't know about the situation since he is not affiliated with pro water sports. He just needs Mike to pay him back soon or otherwise he'll get upset with him. Mike knew that he took the money from the register and was trying to hide the situation so that Sally and the employees wouldn't find out. In fact, Mike was feeling guilty that what he did was wrong and he shouldn't have done this and this can get him terminated. Mike convinced his employees not to tell Jimmy or Sally about the confession because he explained that to them that his plan was to make up the money that he took. So how will Jimmy and Sally react to this? And what will happen to Mike when Jimmy comes back? Will he get a second chance to keep his job? Let's look into the next episode. Following episode 5, we have episode 6, which focuses on ethical behavior and decision making. Nicole, being the whistleblower she is, decides to take it upon herself. As a loyal employee, she knows that she has to tell Jimmy and Sally and let them know the events that took place. 
She knew that she did not want to be included in Mike's plan, and if she said something, she would feel that she would clear a name. As Jimmy comes back into the store and is confused about what has taken place in his absence, Nicole knows that this is her chance to inform him on what is going on. Nicole walks into the back office where Sally and Jimmy are trying to figure out where the missing money went to. As Nicole enters, she can see the frustration on Sally's face. Deep down inside, Nicole somewhat doesn't feel bad for Sally. She essentially created a laid-back and unorganized atmosphere. Nicole feels that if she was assistant manager, this would have never happened. Deciding not to make either of them sweat anymore, she lets him know what Mike has done. Even though Nicole feels like a snitch, her conscience is clear. She knows this was the most ethical thing to do. Later that day, Jimmy and Sally decide to call Mike into the office to confront him about what he has done. Knowing that someone has told on him, he decides to come clean. Apologetically, Mike lets Sally and Jimmy know that he has a plan to make the money back by charging more for rentals. Jimmy and Sally have to decide what to do with Mike. Ultimately, ultimately Jimmy decides by making an ethical decision. Mike is no longer trustworthy, and this will be the end of the road for him. Even though Jimmy likes Mike, as the general manager, he knows that he needs to hold his employees accountable for their actions. Jimmy terminates Mike's employment and has a team meeting with the rest of the employees to discuss measures that will be enforced to prevent from this happening again. Jimmy then gives Sally a second chance to learn from her lack of management skills and to learn from this experience. Next is episode 7, which includes a wrap-up of pro water sports on Manager Shore. In episode 1, Jimmy has to direct and delegate authority to Sally while he is out of the office. Jimmy had to come up with a plan and direction for the store while he was out helping his ill mother. Episode 2. Sally's laid-back unorganization skills prove to be a problem for the store as money comes up missing. This episode identifies that Sally has to improve on her management skills. Episode 3. Sally is caught in an ethical dilemma on how she will handle the missing money situation. She's at crossroads with her management skills on how to handle the situation without making a huge deal about it. Episode 4. While Sally struggles to deal with the situation at hand, Nicole enters and figures out what has happened when overhearing Mike on the phone explaining what he did. Now Nicole has an ethical dilemma to deal with. Episode 5. As word gets around the store about what Mike has done, his conscience starts to weigh on him. Sally struggles with her managerial skills, unaware of what Mike has done. Mike's ethics come into play, deciding to come clean to his employees, but not Sally. Episode 6. Jimmy returns back to the store where he finds out money is missing. Sally, still struggling with her managerial skills, has no option but to let Jimmy know what has happened. Jimmy knows this is not the ethical behavior that he wants to have in his store and makes the decision to terminate Mike after Nicole has her ethical moral compass straight enough to let Jimmy and Sally know what has happened. Through this TV show, one can learn from the mistakes in management and how to learn what is valuable in management. This can help one become a great manager or leader. And we hope you enjoyed... Pro Water Sports on Manager Shore.